I'm sure you already believed in the potential of this group, but what did you learn about their ability to execute when it matters most last week, especially in that sudden death? You know, they, they starting right around Palmetto, they showed that gear where, where they could just turn it on. It's been frustrating in the sense that we haven't had it consistently um, all spring, but we've had moments of it where it's really made for some exciting golf. And, um, you know, they shipped us out west, which wasn't really a surprise. We were playing on a wacky golf course, uh, altitude, um, playing in the backyard of, a, of some western, western schools that um, the odds were stacked against us, especially with a few holes to go. And, and somehow we found a way to, to advance. And, and um, now you turn the page and you get focused on trying to win a national championship. How do you just... As a coach, how do you just stay stay in the moment with the with the guys? You know, you're down six, seven strokes. Are you even thinking, okay, if everything plans out the way I think, yeah, we can win it, or are you just going hole by hole? How how do you even go through that sequence as a coach? Well, I was losing my mind. I mean, I'm <laughs> I'm out there walking around in the woods trying to stay away from everybody. I'm being all philosophical about, oh yeah, these three seniors, man, they've had a great run, and man, we made you know we made it close, whatever. I mean, you're just you're losing it, and then. Um, some of the parents were losing it. I was trying to just uh, just be there if somebody needed me, but I, I just pretty much stayed out of their way, and and uh, somehow they got it done, which uh, is, is probably a good lesson for me to just stay away from them more. But um, it, it was it was one of those things where where uh, you know, the 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 way they played coming down the stretch was probably as focused and as um, as, as cool a, a golf as I've ever seen as a coach, to be honest with you, it was just one of those things that that um, I'll never forget. And, and uh, the excitement of the of the playoff, Stackler having a tough day, and then being the one to birdie in the playoff, it was just a scripted ending that um, I'm getting chills just talking about it. It was really cool. As high a high as that is, Coach, then how do you transition that positive momentum to this next step, the biggest step, and to make sure that the play even gets even higher? Well, taking a red eye back from Spokane, Washington, took care of the adrenaline and the high. Um, getting back into Charlotte the next morning at, at 10, and then I got on the road to recruit. Um, we're pretty much all sick of each other by this point, being on the road together for the whole spring. So um, I think the golf course, we, we're focused. We, we started talking immediately about the blessings uh, in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and, and just how difficult a test that's going to be, uh, getting prepared for that. Make, we know it's going to be hot. We know it's going to be a difficult walk. Um, getting hydrated, um, or getting a lot of rest, staying hydrated, doing all that. They played plenty of golf, so it's all about just just getting them um, them rested and, and, and focused on on get ready. The, the longest day in golf is on Thursday, 30 team practice round um, or 29, I guess since BYU's in the field. But it's still going to be a long day Thursday, and we just got to be ready to go Friday morning. How do you manage this group maybe differently than last time? I mean, I don't know if you have to because you guys made it to match play. So just what are some of the key things you do in this week leading up to it to make sure guys are playing at their best by the time the first round rolls around? Yeah, I mean, you really, you know, that, that, that's a good point. The Three years ago, we had um, basically three All-Americans on the team, Matt Neesmith, Will Stark, and Sean Kelly. Um, those guys had a lot of ex experience, too. Uh, more experience with NCAAs than these guys have. Scott Stevens is the only one on the team that's played in an NCAA championship. So there'll be some some discussion about that. But the main thing is that it's it's just getting locked in in that practice round on um, what the wind direction is going to be, what we're going to hit off the tees, being being decisive and, and, and aggressive at certain times and, and those kinds of things. But these guys have been really good all spring. Um, I think I think one of the things that really helped us too was the difficult uh, golf courses we played in the fall, um, Olympia Fields in Chicago, um, the high grass, the sort of hidden areas for off the tees. I mean, you're going to have to make sure you handle that real well out there this week. Coach, um, when you look at this team and the way they came back, you know you hear that, that phrase, you know, flipping the switch. Do you think this team has that? And as a coach, do you, are you just in a situation where, hey, we kind of don't want to be seven down again in this of the lake. Yeah. You kind of want to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to put, you keep putting yourself in that position. Um, but, you know, you saw it at Palmetto where we won by 30 shots or so. You saw it the last round at the Hootie where we turned it on. Um, you saw a glimpse of it at, at, at Augusta. Uh, we played well down there. I mean, this, this group has that other gear. Um, some teams, you, you're just taken to tournaments and you hope they play well, you hope they find that spark. This team actually has that. It's more about just do they get switched on or not. And, um, 
and I, and I think I think this week um, we're, we're putting what happened last week behind us. I mean, obviously we're we're. I just don't want that mindset of we're happy to be there. I want to go try to win a golf tournament. Um, this team deserves to be there. Uh, we fought through some real adversity last week with with playing a golf course that was that was really very very um, unusual for us, and uh, and just the way they handled that, and 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 also so we got to go go out to Fayetteville with the mindset of. Um, uh, we're here to win the golf tournament, not just happy to be here. It seems you're so serious right now, but then the one piece of advice your players continue to talk about that you give them that they enjoy the most is is have fun. Mm -hmm. So how important is it to really make sure you have that balance of guys get your working, but remember at the end of the day, golf uh, is fun. Well, we're going to have fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, that's for sure. I mean, the, the, the one thing I've, I've tried to incorporate in the 13 years of my coaching is you, you play your best golf when you're loose and, and, and but there's a fine line there um, that you have to be focused on, on each shot. But the, that 30 to 40 seconds that you're over the golf ball the rest of the time, um, you need to have fun and enjoy enjoy what you're doing. It's, a, it's, a, it's an incredible opportunity to play for a national championship. And, and, um, and these three seniors are going to celebrate their careers here as well and, and uh, just enjoy the week. Do you like the fact that they coordinate what they wear in terms of superstition-wise? Like they have to wear certain things on, on certain rounds? I mean, well, I'm, a, I'm not superstitious. I'm just a little stitious. So, so I, I, I can relate to it a, a little bit, but um, I don't care. They just send me the, the, the text and I'll wear whatever whatever they want. <laughs> it's been working for them and, and uh, I'm, all, I'm all about it. The best line in office history right there. I yeah. laugh at every single time. How much does, just, uh, uh, does Scott's experience carry over to this event too? Just knowing what he brings to the team and then how much is that going to even help him? And can it rub off on the other players here in this next event? Yeah, I think it can. I mean, the the you know the unusual thing about our national championship is that it's, well, until we start next year out in Arizona, we're doing three years in a row out there. You know, it's a different golf course, different environment. Uh, none of these guys have ever seen the golf course. Um, I've only recruited on it one time about 10 years ago, and supposedly they made some changes. So um, the, the big thing is going to be just, like I said, getting through Thursday is a long day and just, just making sure you do, you do some great preparation. And um, Scott's been a, been a, a I mean, he's never missed a golf tournament for us uh, his whole four year career here. So uh, if he'll actually speak up and say something, it would, it would help. But he's definitely got the experience and, and uh, hopefully a little bit of rub off because he probably won't, won't talk a whole lot. <laughs> Lead by example. Okay. Yeah, an example guy. Yeah. <laughs>